Hi, my name is Brett from Aquaponics WA and Hydroponics Express. Today we're going to be showing you how to set up your fan and filter combo in your grow tank. The basic idea behind the ventilation and filtration is to get fresh air into the tent and bad air and bad smells out of the tent. Uh, you can do this a couple of different ways, but the process is basically the same. Uh, basically you need a small inlet fan to push air into your tent and then an extraction fan and filter combo to extract the air out and to filter the smells. So the reason that you want fresh air into your tent is to have some fresh, clean air, basically CO2, to uh, encourage your plants to grow. Uh, obviously the used air you need to push out to let the fresh air in, but that used air will also be quite smelly. So it'll need to be filtered before you exhaust it out of your grow room. Um, this can be achieved by attaching a fan and filter combo. So the first fan we're going to attach today is the input or inlet fan. Uh, this doesn't need to be very large, it can be as small as a 100mm computer fan or even as large as a 250mm inline fan on a very large tent. But today, as we're working on a small grow tent, we'll be using a 100mm computer fan. Let's run through some of the products we're going to use today. Okay, first off we have a 100mm inlet fan. This is a Cultivate brand. Uh, it's just a simple inlet fan, any size 100mm and upwards would do the job depending on the size of your tent. Next we'll be using a grow fan 100mm, basically as an exhaust fan. Uh, this will also be attached to our filter roo filter. and all connected by uh, exhaust ducting. If you need to attach your fan uh, to the roof of your tent, there's several ways to do it. You can use large cable ties, or you can use light hangers as shown here. So on most grow tents, you'll find several inlet holes at the bottom. Uh, they are of varying sizes. So you can pick and choose what size fans you want to go in. As we're using a 100mm fan today, we'll be using the Cultivate 100mm. We have two options in this uh, Seahawk grow tent. Basically, we have this larger 150mm inlet and this 100mm inlet at the back. It honestly doesn't matter where the inlet is, as long as it has a good access to fresh air. Um, you can run exhaust ducting from another room with this fan into that. It will slow the fan down, so it's not 100% recommended, but it's certainly something you can do if you wish to control temperatures. So we're going to mount the inlet fan. Uh, as I said, we're going to be using the 100mm Cultivate today. So you can just Take your fan, some come with brackets, some do not. So depending on, on how it's designed is how you can mount it in your tent. But usually get your fan, put it in whichever inlet in the tent is appropriate. Place it inside. You've got two wraparound parts on your tent. So you can very tightly just attach that. and that will sit there. So attach it both sides, so it's in nice and firmly. You can just have it running there just as is, or you can also put some more exhaust ducting in line if you wish. Once you've attached your inlet fan to the tent, you can choose to also put exhaust ducting in line to bring uh, fresh air in from another room, or you can just leave it as is and that will draw air in from the room you're currently in. Next, we'll install the exhaust fan. As mentioned, we're using the GrowFan 100mm 2 speed fan. Uh, we'll mount this at the top of the tent using either cable ties or, as mentioned, light hangers, depending on the size of your fan. 
As you can see here, we've mounted the exhaust fan to one of the top bars in the tent. Uh, we've just used cable ties for this one as this is quite a light fan and this is the easiest way to mount. Uh, I will now show you how to place the filter on as an internal filter. This is the filter we'll be using today. It's a filter 100 millimeter carbon filter. It's completely 100% Australian made with 100% Australian carbon. Um, it's a very light unit because of its size. We also do recommend that you place the uh, outside dust filter on your carbon filter as it will increase the life of the filter by uh, stopping dust and other large particulates being dragged through the filter. To internally mount your filter to your exhaust fan, first locate which direction the airflow is going on your fan. This will usually be identified by an arrow or two facing the direction that the air is flowing. Then you can take your filter, put it on the inlet side of the fan. So be sure to make sure that your airflow is going away from the filter. Now we're going to mount the exhaust ducting to the fan. Uh, you can do this in one of two ways. You can either run the length of exhaust ducting out the top of the tent into your ceiling. This is probably the most efficient way as heat rises. Or the more simple way is to just run the exhaust ducting out the side of the tent and just let that exhaust into your room. So you stretch out your exhaust ducting to the length you desire. Poke it out the top of the tent. Attach it to your fan. You can then secure that with a good tape. Here we're going to be using an aluminium tape. That's just there to keep that in place. Manipulate your exhaust ducting until it's poking out the top of your tent and then continue to run it up into your ceiling or which other location you desire. Each size tent will require a different size fan and filter combination. Please refer to this chart. It will guide you on your choice of fan and filter. Thanks for watching our video. Hopefully now you have all the knowledge you need to set up your fan and filter combo in your grow tent. If you have any questions, please contact us at Aquaponics WA and Hydroponics Express. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Good luck and happy growing.